Good morning. And it's Wednesday, July 9th. We're midweek. And if you didn't already know, you know that we have moved morning prayer to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we encourage you to join us for evening prayer on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, good morning, Terry. Good morning, Carrie. And good morning, Rick. So let's come together and prepare ourselves for morning prayer. You are wrapped in light as with a garment, O oh God. You ride on the wings of the wind. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. For the morning light and its irresistible dawning, for your untamable utterances of life in boundless stretches of space, and the strength of the waves of the sea, I give you thanks, O oh God. Release in me the power of your spirit that my soul may be free and my spirit strong. Release in me the freedom of your spirit that I may be bridled by nothing but love, that I may be bridled by nothing but love. Amen. In our scripture, on power and justice comes from Isaiah chapters 43 and 49 as retold by John Philip Newell. In the year uh, that King Uzziah died, another prophet began to speak. His name was Isaiah and he spoke words of vision and comfort. God will never forsake the heart of the people, he said. Thus says the one who created you and formed you in your mother's womb. Do not fear, for I am your strength. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, I will guide you. You are precious in my sight, and I love you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. And do not dwell on what is past, for I am about to do a new thing. It is coming now. Do you not see it? I will make your wilderness like Eden and your desert like the garden of delight. I will never forsake you or forget you, and I will remember your sins no more. Can a mother forget the babe at her breast? or hate the child of her own womb, even these may forget, but I will not forget you. And I thought I'd read from Frederick Buechner first um, before the psalm because it, um, in beyond words, the word is Isaiah. There were banks of candles flickering in the distance and clouds of incense thickening the air with holiness and stinging his eyes. And high above him, as it had always been there, but was only now seen for what it was, like a face in the leaves of a tree or a bearer among the stars, there was the mystery itself whose gown was the incense and the candles, a dusting of gold at the hem. There were winged creatures shouting back and forth the way excited children shout to each other when dusk calls them home, and the whole vast reeking place started to shake beneath his feet like a wagon going over cobbles, and he cried out, Oh God, I am done for. I am foul of mouth and the member of a foul-mouthed race. With my own two eyes I have seen him. I'm a goner and sunk. Then one of the winged things touched his mouth with fire and said, There, it'll be all right now. And the mystery itself said, Who will it be? 
And with charred lips he said, me. And mystery said, go. Mystery said, go give the deaf hell till you're blue in the face and go show the blind heaven till you drop in your tracks because they'd sooner eat ground glass then swallow the bitter pill that puts roses in the cheeks and a gleam in the eye. Go do it. Isaiah said, do it till when? Mystery said, till hell freezes over. Mystery said, do it till the cows come home. And that is what a prophet does for a living. And starting from the year that King Uzziah died, when he saw and heard all these things, Isaiah went and did it. And now from Psalm 113. Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the Lord's name. May the Lord's name be blessed now and forevermore. From the place the sun rises to where it sets, praised be the name of the Lord. High over all nations, the Lord, over the heavens, his glory, who is like the Lord our God, who sits high above, who sees down below in the heavens and on earth. He raises the poor from the dust, from the dung heap lifts the needy, to seat him among princes, among the princes of his people. He seats the barren woman in her home, a happy mother of sons. Hallelujah. So let's take a moment to reflect on scripture and prose this morning. Let's pray. In the silence of our hearts or in spoken words, let us give thanks for the gift of this day and pray for the life of the world. All things come from you, O God the light of the rising sun and the unfolding darkness of night, the lives of those who have gone before and the life of creatures still to be born. As you bless us at the beginning of time in the eternal womb of creation, so bless us at the end of time when we journey into the unknown. As you graced us with love at the dawn of this day, so guide us and the world this day into the unfolding of tomorrow. Amen. So what are you going to do with your Wednesday? I know many of you are hard at work, either at home or at the workplace and um, I know Terry's preparing to get a meal to New Hope Center in Puyallup tomorrow. So bless you as you go around about your day and may you see the light of God in every face and every creature. May it be so.